Hello and what is up everybody, I'm an Exorbital Warrior and hope you're all having a great day. So we have a big announcement from Cold Iron Studios. Uh, when we got the last content release or patches or whatever, uh, it was a long time ago, right? So they did give us a hint that they're working on something big for AFE. Uh, they were just not at the liberty to you know, disclose it then. But now, um, a lot's happening, a lot's happening. So I just recommend you guys sit back, relax, take your cup of coffee or tea, and just go through this video because we have a lot to discuss about. Now, um, so if you were active on the official Discord server uh, for AFE, you would have known that we had Mats from Cold Iron Studios who basically designed the combat, the weapons, um, the, the abilities, the classes. You know, he was the guy if uh, you wanted to talk to someone from Cold Iron about the game, right? About the, the, uh, the, the weapon behaviors, the balancing aspects, the, how the abilities uh, behaved under different circumstances, um, bug fixes, all those kinds of things. But he was suddenly out of the scene. Maybe he quit, maybe he was fired. What happened, we never know, and we might never even know about it. However, uh, what concerned me as someone who loved co-op shooters and horse shooters and who finally got a wor game worthy enough to, you know, basically, I literally started my channel with this, right? And uh, this game gave me everything that I have right now as far as uh, content creation and YouTube stuff, right? So, yeah, this was an ama this is an amazing game, but we had no idea in what kind of direction it's going to go because... The thing that concerned me the most is whenever I made a visit to their official website, um, they had their, uh, basically, Mats was gone and there was no one replacing it. And they were looking for people. So finally, it's good to know that we got uh, Elena Siegman, uh, who's going to be the new studio head, and Kendall Deacon Davis, who's going to be the new game director, right? They come from big AAA games, um, as per the announcement, because I've never heard of them, obviously. Um, so, yeah, we got some insight to what is happening with Cold Iron. So, they got their two, um, you know, big guys, like two big names. Uh, and they already told that if you've ever visited Cold Iron's website, they already said it clearly on the website that they're working on their next big project game title. Um, and we always used to ask this question. Was AFE a success for them? Did they make the amount of money they were looking for with this project or not? What's going to happen to this game? Are we going to get a sequel? Or is this game going to be expanded? Are we going to get more DLCs? Um, and we had, like, because for us alien fans, for the fans of the franchise, we needed this kind of game. Right, we, we were we deserved it. it was, it's been, you know, it's been a while since we got a game like this. And once we did, it basically gave us some confidence that anything and everything is possible. We wanted those power loaders, we wanted those APCs, and we wanted flying Xenos, which I am against. Right? Um, so yeah, we wanted a lot from this game. We expected a lot from this game, but we didn't even know if we were gonna get. Fuck fixes, let alone new content. But now they, they, they've got um, new team members and some experienced people. And they're already working on a major next title. I suspect it could be AFE 2. Given the statement they are, you know, they gave in their announcement is like, in the meantime, the studio is in full development of a new title, building on the success off Aliens Right Team Elite. Cold Iron is hard at work making a new experience for fans to sink their teeth in into. Uh, more updates will be coming as development is further along. So this uh, paragraph alone that AFE was a success answers my question. The, the one I was concerned about that was AFE a success? Is, are they going to continue make a sequel? You know, work with this game anymore? Any longer or anything? What's happening? We were in the dark. We were blind. We had no idea. So yeah, this game was a success. And that tells me they could be made because the, 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 the feedback, the amount of feedback and response they got from the community 
you know, we wanted those uh, APCs, the queen fight and all that. Maybe it was just too much for them yeah. to add into this game. Maybe this they had to like redo all the coding and the designs and everything. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's just a um, just a uh, you know uh, a theory, right? So maybe they're thinking of making even like a bigger game in the Aliens oh, sure, sure. franchise, where they could literally do all of that. They they would like literally go all out and give us everything. Don't get me wrong. Aliens Fireteam Elite is a beautiful game as far as it comes to the environment, the aesthetics, the weapons, the weapon sounds, the, the classes, the abilities. Like, no other game, no other war shooter co-op PvE game has uh, such satisfaction when it comes to gameplay, uh, when it comes to weapons, when it comes to classes, especially the build system, the perk system, the grid, um, the, the weapons, the mechanics, the abilities of those classes, the satisfaction you get from this, I don't think there's any other game that has done it this well. Uh, could it be better? Maybe. Should it be better? Oh, hell yeah. We need more. We need more of this. Whatever this is, we need more of it. So, uh, the other things they're talking about in this announcement, which kind of, kind of sounds like a goodbye... To aliens. Now, don't get me wrong. This could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. Bad thing that we have. We all have to say goodbye okay. to aliens. Fire team lead the game we all love. We all spent like numerous hours playing and theory crafting and doing crazy stuff with the game, right? So, could be like a sad goodbye to this game. But in, in on, the, on the bright side, on the other side, on the flip side, could be something good. It means. We say goodbye to this chapter and we say hello to the next chapter, which could be another game in um, the Alien Universe, based on the Alien Universe. Uh, we could get something that we've been all asking, right? You know, you ask for it, you get it. So I don't know. Uh, so in the meantime, what's in the pipeline for AFE? So what do we have? So uh, uh, from the announcement, it says, alongside the new leadership, Cold Iron will be adding some long requested updates to of course, Aliens for Team Elite. Cold Iron is committed to providing quality of life updates to Aliens for Team Elite while hard at work on their next major project. Future updates will include many of the community's most prominent requests, such as fixes, uh, fixes to matchmaking and improvements to everyone's favorite synth, known by players as Alpha and Beta. Well, the least I can ask for is Alpha and Beta just like literally stand in front of you, tanking all the Xeno hits. Yes, which is good, but also tanking your bullets for the Xeno, which sucks. Um, I could never ever imagine going with a class with a heavy weapon with Alpha and Beta on my side because I never know when they're going to just instantly pop in front of me and I'm going to launch a rocket or throw a grenade from the m94 impact grenade launcher onto them killing them the xenos and not to mention myself so that that it, that is that alone that fix alone will be a huge upgrade for me at the very least. not that i ever play with the synths uh since um you know i've sunk thousands of hours on insane difficulty heck even slapping challenge cards to make insane harder. So don't hit me, hate the game. I can't, for the love of my life, I can't enjoy or play on any difficulty below insane. So if uh, you're playing on insane, you know you're either trying to solo it, which defeats the purpose of having alpha and beta, or you're playing with a full team, again, which makes no difference. But I do get it that there are tons of players, right? want to play this game offline want to just be left alone do their own thing and they want to play you know as far as they're playing on intense difficulty it's fine they're going to be okay uh with alpha and beta's current situation however if they want to bump up the difficulty like extreme or insane alpha and beta no go not not even on your wildest dream so i hope they're gonna make alpha and beta a bit more customizable maybe they can have 
maybe different classes or they can follow commands like stay here start this follow stop stay you know those basic commands that every other game of the ai has um they could even give you a little bit of ammo maybe some healing i don't know uh world war z has this mechanic finally introduced where you could so i haven't figured it figured it out how <laughs> i've been playing world war z lately but i don't know how to make the bots do it for you uh but alpha and beta yeah they you could literally ask them to heal you or pick up a medkit find on the map and then later on ask them to give it to you or something you know? that'd be cool that'd be cool like any changes to alpha and beta would be cool in my honest opinion so yeah here's the status or here is the state of aliens right um so we could expect AFE uh, to, you know, not get any more updates after the set update in this announcement. Uh, this could mean a goodbye for Aliens for Team Elite, but not a sad one. I personally hope it's not a sad goodbye, but it's, you know, a happy goodbye where we put down Aliens for Team Elite and we go to Alien for Team Elite 2, which is just everything that we've been asking for. APCs, um, dropships. You know, power loader, queen fight, infestations, hive raids, and that kind of thing. Um, if that if that is what it is, I am literally gonna go psych. You know, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'll be so happy. I'm gonna be so excited. And now I f I can finally say with confidence that I have some confidence going forward. Um, you know, when it comes to Cold Iron Studios, that uh, after Matt's was gone. It was not looking good. I mean, I we had this discussion day in day out that why would Cold Iron pay? Because I'm not, I'm I'm sure I don't think they have the IP from Fox Studios or Disney for free. Right? They they wouldn't pay for the IP for the rights to have it for another year for 2023 and do nothing with it. Just release one game mode with a couple of skins where you're not even making money. I don't think so right so there were some ups and downs there were some internal issues so it seems but now i think it should be fixed we are on the right track and we can expect exciting stuff to happen in the near future so looking forward to that next quality of uh, quality of update uh, life updates uh of the updates with alpha and beta and you never know you might get a little bit of content drop maybe a game mode or something Personally, me, if you ask me if even they want to be done with AFE for now, I think at least no new classes, no new maps, no new um, game modes or anything. At least a weapon or two. That's what I personally ask for. Could it be done? I don't know. But that's what I'm personally asking for is a little bit you know, more on the weapon side. Um, maybe just one or two new weapons. Something special, you know, just to... You know, like, here's your toy. Enjoy while we work on your next favorite game that you didn't even know about. Right? So, yeah. That's how I feel right now. That's all I wanted to say. And I hope you guys are excited, too. So, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? What can you ded deduce um, off of this announcement for, um, for the future from Cold Iron? Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to see you guys with another video very soon. And... Stay frosty. Peace. Keep slaying those things.